Hi everybody, I'm Luca Falerwani from Adler, Italy, and today we are going to introduce you our TMS line. TMS are stain to spray and wipe or to wipe on, wipe off. They are almost ready to use and they must be diluted one to one with water or with a proper carrier according to the application you want to have. This range is made by different kind of uh, micronized organic pigment, inorganic pigment, acid dyes, solvent dyes, all together milled and blended inside the proper carrier. The main properties of TMS line is the very high uniformity that they can provide you on top of different kind of wood. In order to let you have a better picture and a clear view, we have prepared this fan deck where we have applied the stain by spray and wipe on top of different kind of wood, like pine as a soft wood, like beech as a compact wood, and oak, a very the most popular open pore wood. As you can see, the final effect is very, very similar. The uniformity is great and the brilliance is almost the same brilliance that you can achieve with the dyes. But at the same time, thanks to their inner chemical properties, they can grant you very high fastness to light. So we can say that this TMS range is a, a kind of cake made with the perfect ingredients for the perfect stain ready to use. As I said, TMS are almost ready to use and they can be diluted one-to-one -one with thinner for spray and wipe application or one-to-one -one with a proper binder for wipe on, wipe off application. It's possible to regulate the open time by adding a solvent retardant and at the same time it's possible to tone the TMS by adding a specific PCE blend that we will see later. Let's start from wipe on, wipe off application of TMS 946 uniforming glazed stain walnuts. As I said, for the wipe on, wipe off application, we suggest to dilute one to one with PLC 42 binder, since it, this binder can help you to improve the working time, the uniformity. Obviously, it's possible even to increase the open time by adding a retardant solvent. It's very important to steer properly before application since there are, as I said, pigment inside and you have to steer properly. TMS series must be applied on top of raw wood, solid or veneer, doesn't matter, but after a proper sanding process. Sanding is very important for the final effect and uh, according to the different kind of wood we suggest a different sanding step. For example, for soft wood like uh, pine and fir, we suggest two sanding steps with grit 120 and uh, later with grit 180. Let's apply by wiping on, wiping off. As you can see, TMS are very easy to apply and moreover it's possible to increase the open time by adding retardant solvent in order to apply without too many difficulties also on top of uh, big surfaces. Don't worry if you are not satisfied about the, the effect since you can restain without overlapping issues. Now we have to wait at least half an hour before overcoating. Obviously, if you are adding some solvent retardant, you will have to increase 
the time to wait before applying overcoating. Now let's apply PMS 946 on top of tulipier wood by wiping on, wiping off. This kind of wood is very particular because as you can see, the stripes and the uniformity of the wood make it unique. This kind of wood is a kind of soft wood, even if it's not as full of resin as pine and fir. That's why we don't suggest the double sanding step like previously, but we suggest that only one step that you can do with uh, grit uh, 150 or 180 according to your preference. Personally, I prefer to sand with uh, grit 150 since I like to open better the fiber in order to increase the uniformity of the final effect. Let's start wiping on tulipier wood. Our purpose will be to uniform as much as possible, even in this area where you can see stripes of different color of the wood. Tulipier wood is quite popular since it's a quite cheap kind of wood and with the proper stain it can become very close to walnut, to the real walnut. The main problem is to uniform it, but with the correct stain like TMS you can get it. As you can see, don't worry if you are not satisfied about the application. No overlapping problems. And the stripes almost disappeared. Now let's prepare TMS 946 for spray and white application. Instead of PLC 42 binder that we used for wipe on, wipe off application, for spray and wipe we suggest to dilute one to one with a thinner. The thinner blend is depending on the open time and the kind of wood you want to stain. And it's very easy to steer and now we will go to the lab for the spray and wipe application.
Now let's prepare the TMS 910 white stain to wipe on, wipe off on fur. Since we have to wipe on, wipe off, we dilute one to one with PLC 42 binder. And also in this case, if you have uh, big surfaces, it's possible to dilute with a retardant thinner to increase the open time. Let's prepare fur surface before applying TMS stain. Since fur, like pine, is a kind of wood full of resin, we suggest the double step sanding. The first step will be done with grit 120. The second one will be done with grit 180. After the proper sanding, we will start applying wiping on, wiping off. The TMS 910 white diluted one to one with PLC 42. Now, let's see how to prepare a pastel shades starting from TMS 910 white. Since it is a stain to spray and wipe, we will have to dilute one to one with the thinner. So here we have prepared a standard TMS 910 stain to spray and wipe white. What we will use as toner? As toner, we will use the PCE Micronized Organic Pigment Paste that they are inside the TMS range. We will prepare a standard walnut color with two parts of yellow, one part of red and one part of black. PCE are very high concentration past, so we suggest to use average at 5% to tone the TMS ready to use. Now our pastel stain to spray and wipe is ready, so we are going to the lab to apply by spray.
Now let's have a look to the final application after overcoating. Here we have PMS 910 wipe applied by wiping on, wiping off. While here we have the same TMS 910 toned with PC and applied with spray and wipe. On the right side you can find TMS 946 applied by wiping on, wiping off on fur and tulipier and applied by spraying and wipe on tulipier and fur. As you can see, the final shades are very similar even though we applied on different woods and with different application. Moreover, TMS uniforming effect is very strong and it works even on woods that are very hard to stain, like tulipier. That's all for today, thanks for having us. If you have any doubt, please don't hesitate to contact us because in Adler we care about the service beyond the products.